Let's do what God has called me to do. I, I thank everybody. If I miss you, it's every day you heard me through the word. So, we're going to Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Fourth, verse eight. Fourth chapter. Now, now I know how apostles feel. My brother Michael just did what I did, apostle, every Sunday. What chapter? <laughs> Have everyone, Ephesians 4, verse 8. I'll be reading verses 8 through 12. And I'm going to read from the two verses up here. I'm going to read from the King James. Wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, they might fill all things. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. I was reading and I was like, I told apostle, I said, and reading this and studying it, I could write a lesson plan on this thing. I could do a whole series from a feature. God had just poured so much into me, and I, I didn't know exactly. Go. I need a sermon. I, I, don't, I don't need a you know series lesson to be done for months. Pastor said something to me last night, and he said, "Name just be name." And David came to my house, and he said, "Mom." Won't you just be who you always are? That's what God created you to be. Okay. Hear you. And then I said, God, well, what am I? You know, <laughs> then I be what I'm doing. And then I realized what drives me. And what drives me is that I want everybody to love Jesus. I want everybody to receive what God has for them. Yeah, right. and, and, and when I did, did that, it, it's like, okay, I'm going someplace now. So I went back to Ephesians, I was like, well, what they got to do with what drives me? And as I kept reading, God spoke the supply of life. And I'm, so that's my title, if you need one. Supply. So I'm going, okay, all right. And he kept going on now. I think about the thing that I do from day to day. I don't care what setting I'm in. Whenever God calls me to minister to someone, I have to stop what I'm doing and minister to them. And so it, it tears my inside up when I see uh, a believer with the head hanging down. It just makes my whole body just get out of whack when I see believers struggle. When I see believers held captive to things I know they should have power over. And so I, I said, okay, I, that ascension sometimes we want to kick to the side, but really grasp hold of it. Because when you grasp hold of it, you understand that when he ascended up high, he took everything that will keep you down. He said, I took it with you. How can we help those that come in? If we're going to cry right along, they broke, we broke. You know, they say, people 
people that, and I'm trying to pray for you, <laughs> is when you said you've been enlightened, John's for this, by the word of God, by his spirit, yeah. and you can't stop drinking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can't stop running men and women. Oh. That tells me the blood of Jesus can't do the work. Mm -hmm. 